as we're underway on EA Sports. On the return, here comes Smith out of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, kind of a costly one, as he won't make it back to the 20. Out come the Eagles for the first time, and the man in charge at quarterback in his fifth year now, Jalen Hurts. And he was terrific in the opener through three touchdown passes, and make no mistake about it, he was eager to get right back out and do it again. So I think we'll see him try to test the secondary quite a bit as this game goes on. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. They'll go to Barkley again. And this is going to be back-to-back -back tackles for a loss here as the Falcons' defense yet again drops him behind the line. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. So certainly not the start they were looking for here as they come up on a third and 14. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. He'll start on the ground here on first down. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. working they'll stick with it on first down and give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. we take a look at his numbers on the ground last week north of 100 yards the two scores and you know you got to give a lot of credit to the o-line we talked a lot about him but offensive line was good too they're obviously in sync with each other whether it's zone blocking power running game no matter what he understands how to read them and find the creases that they provide And from the 34, here's second and four. Back to throw here. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to have it here at their own 15. Throw on first down with Hurts. And he's going to be brought down. Back at a 
his own six-yard line. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. And I think the ball's out, and the Falcons grab it. All the practice, all the training, all the meetings. In this situation, I know exactly what quarterbacks are taught. Take care of the football. That's job one paramount, because you cough it up here, you might be giving up six points real easy. Tip of the cap to the defense, though, forcing the fumble. The defense gets him the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in? First and goal. They give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. They'll set up to run the quarterback draw. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. It's their quarterback. His 11th touchdown of the year. And the Falcons use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Ah, that's a great alternative there to the old-fashioned quarterback sneak. Instead, let your quarterback take... First and ten, it's Hurts. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. Second down, here's Hurts. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. Here is third and quite a ways. Here's Hurts to throw. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's the gun they'll try to run it he's brought down at the 34 call it a gain of four line of scrimmage the 24 this is second and six and they'll give him another shot here on the ground and yeah, maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line 10 yards there and a first down for the Falcons Hands it off out of the gun. A little second effort there on the strong run. And then drop just inside of the 20. Now second and three. Now they'll run on the draw. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. 43 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. They're going to look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. Right, I think he's got to be careful as he continues to try to extend plays because he's already been intercepted in this game. And the coverage, they continue to challenge all of his receivers downfield. Second and six. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. From six yards away. In motion, the tight end. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. 
First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. He'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. That's a pretty darn good start to his season, huh? A sack in the opener adds a second one here. That tells you about his offseason. He came in determined to have a big year, and it's paying off. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That one out wide and intercepted. And they're going to be set up in the red zone at the 15. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Now here's the quarterback draw. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. A great play there with his third touchdown so far. Number 13 now on the year. Complete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Hurts. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. Throwing his hurts. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Falcon defense has a touchdown. goes the tight end. They begin with a run by Barkley. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Oh, and Hertz is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. And this pass broken up. But the contact well timed there, and now four. Try and start this drive in the air. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. They'll look to throw here on first down. Over the middle, complete. It's Klein. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. They'll set up to throw. Flushed out right. 
And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. They'll set up a throw. He finds his man complete. That's Klein. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that will bring up second down. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And the Falcons are going to have a first and goal as he's able to take this inside the 10 to the 8. So there the defense denies the rookie of his potential first career touchdown. And his first NFL touchdown celebration. I wonder if he's thought about it, if he has something cooked up in his head as he worked out with his team. And think about the celebration back home when he finally scores his first touchdown. He don't get a second chance to make a first impression. We'll see what he does. Well said, sir. Well said. And that is caught. Touchdown, Falcons. A great effort. First down carry for Barkley. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. And he can't escape, and down he goes. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. They'll try the right. No, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. And the Falcons grab it. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 62 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. And here's a handoff out of the gun. <laughs> he's still on his feet. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A nice pickup there, 18 yards. First down, Falcons. From the gun, they'll try to run it. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. From the three, second and a yard. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. It's their quarterback. A three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the foul... First down, Hurts. Oh, and now a fumble. The ball's out, and the Falcons grab it. Room here to run. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the... Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. Now a battle for the football. It's caught. It's a touchdown.
Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He'll get this out to Barkley complete. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Hurt sets up to throw it. It's Barkley once again bring it in to catch. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. They'll look to throw now on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Hurts, and that's complete to Cooks. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 42. So we have reached halftime now with the visiting Falcons out on. Well, everyone's eager to resume play here in this Week 2 contest, so we push right through halftime and back at it for the start of Quarter 3. this drive out on the ground that's to about the 28 second down coming up not a huge carry there on first down but not all of them will be but still all in all a positive play for the offense it's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down and he takes this up to the 40 yard line before being corralled 12 yards is the pickup good for a first down for the Falcons Takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. 46 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Flush to his right. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. The rookie quarterback making plays out of the pocket, and he picks up a new set of downs for his guys. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He finds his man complete. That's Klein. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. And the slot man goes in motion left. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. A great effort there. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Falcons take the opening kickoff.
They'll try and get this run game going. This is Barkley. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Give him 10 yards there. And about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. Looking to throw. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. They'll see about converting this third and eight. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. On play action, they'll throw. Sliding out of the pocket. There he goes again. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. He'll drop to throw, escaping the pressure right. He finds Rivera, and he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And it's second down. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Quick slant to Brown. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. So they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. What a difference a week makes. Last week, he hit on over 80% of his passes. This week, he's down under 50%. What do you see as the difference? Well, I think we're used to seeing a drop. If someone's over 80%, they're not going to hold that number, not in this league. But a drop under 50%, that just tells me that the defense has spent a lot of extra time on game films and came up with a really good plan. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Evades him at the 10. 
80 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Here's a handoff out of the gun. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Nine yards is the pickup there, and they'll have a second and one. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. Brought down that time by Nolan Smith. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick. He's been decisive. And he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Second and five. Throwing right, and that's complete. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 17-yard line. They'll look to throw. And that'll be complete to the running back, Gibson. Touchdown! A great effort there. With two... complete and this one goes nowhere losing yardage back at the 22 second down here's Jalen Hurts pressure brought in and the Falcons get there for the sack they'll go in the books as a seven yard loss on the sack and it's third down guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this and you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one might not be from him but the offensive line coach but plenty to say about this game and a throw there gonna be incomplete at this point in the game they've got to continue to try anything they can to Start on the ground here on first down. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. He'll look to throw. And hauled in here by Rivera. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards, 
Now back to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Klein. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Now this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and ten. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Back to throw again. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll bring up second down. They'll look to throw again. He finds his man complete. That's Klein. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Back to throw now on first down. Now on second and 16. Hurts. And some room to maneuver. He's to the 10. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Falcon defense has a touchdown. Well, this one was already... now hoping to make up for that pick six nowhere to go here he lost the football oh and one of the and that should just about do it they return it to the end zone sealing it with a defensive touchdown to throw his throw incomplete that incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere this team they've really been put through the ringer in this one to throw on second and ten hurts throwing quickly there but it's incomplete this has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions, and definitely... And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Falcon defense has a touchdown. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. And oh my goodness, here's a fifth interception. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And gosh, you look up at the scoreboard, they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, 
you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also take even more chances. And in this situation, that hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, jubilation and laughter. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. What a call there on the quarterback draw. You want to spread the field and just... Throw on first down with Hurts. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Second and 11 now. They'll look to throw here. He finds him again, Saquon Barkley. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. Here is third down and four. Here's Hurts to throw. And now here is another interception. Through the middle of the field. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Falcon defense has a touchdown. Well, what has been a... Concludes the ball game, partner, and one side a really nice win in this one. They were good on offense and on defense. And I'm guessing in the other locker room, partner, the head coach is just telling this team, hey, we didn't play well enough to keep it close enough where that one possession down the stretch might have given us an opportunity to win the game. So for Atlanta, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, they'll fall to one and one. And they'll try to turn things around next week as they have a matchup in New Orleans against the Saints.